welcome to a new vlog. It's me and the Funyun. It's me and Funyun. Yeah, yes. She wants my lip gloss. And I don't think she really is going to enjoy it because it is that Maybelline. Whoa, lifter chili gloss. Um, yeah, I don't think she'd enjoy licking that. Anyway, it is gym day. And uh, yeah, just starting out a new little vlog here. And I think this might be my new favorite vlogging spot. <laughs> it's it's just a nice spot to sit and vlog. We got a window. I, I took the curtain off of it. We had a blackout curtain over the door. And it was just like, it was so dark in here. And I took it down. It's a lot nicer. And I get some light. So anyway, I'm half dressed for the gym. Doing a foundation wear test. I keep goofing my foundation wear tests. So <laughs> we're doing one today. And just me and the puppy here hanging out. I need to get my gym bag sorted back out. Yes, we do. Because Papa used it. Oh. Yeah, I said her favorite word. Papa. Yeah, he's not home yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got you excited. But I need to resort out the gym bag because he, my husband used it for uh, his road trip. And everything's all a mess. And half the stuff's not in the bag that needs to be in the bag. So, yeah, I need to reorganize the gym bag. Look at us. We're just doing a lot of what's my bag videos, apparently. <laughs> oh, the baby. Oh, my goodness. Why are you being so sweet? Oh, a beautiful cuddle bug. My little angel. My little angel. This dog loves a good huggy, don't you? You love good hugs, huh? I'm sitting in Mama's lap. That's the, that's the best place to be, isn't it? Yes. You just gonna sit like that? Yeah. You just gonna sit like a little person, and we're gonna have a conversation. Yeah. Are we chatting? <laughs> so goofy. You're so goofy. No, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not. We're not doing nothing. <sighs> Crazy girl. Okay. So I have this backpack that's what we use our gym bag my husband used it for his uh trip to miami so everything's just thrown in here all crazy so i need to just organize and then i spilled everything one day in the car and they fell out of its pockets yeah just all all goofed and this thing also has like about a million and ten pockets so trying to find what's in here sometimes it's like i don't even remember it's got this back part that's like for a laptop that I don't usually put anything in. So go ahead and zip that part up. So in the main part goes a towel. Always. I have a towel. I also need a drink of coffee. And I have lifting straps that I use for pull movements a lot of times. But I just got these on the recommendation of Dr. Mike Isratel, who is my favorite. When it comes to workout content, he is, he's my, who I've learned the most from. He is a sports medicine doctor. Uh, he and is a professor and he has very educational videos, but they're super entertaining and fun to watch. And he kind of, he also like critiques celebrity workouts too. I love watching him. Um, Jeff Nippard, learned a ton from Jeff Nippard. He does very science-based training videos as well and it you know you gotta go by like the latest studies of what causes the best hypertrophy and results and i'm a super like nerd for like bodybuilding that is my um like seriously like nerd out the science side of bodybuilding is like i don't know but as soon as i started learning about it it was like an instant interest and passion absolutely love it I apparently really like sports medicine, <laughs> which I did not anticipate something that I would find a, such a strong interest in at 37. <laughs> anyway, oh, and I also like watching Dana Lynn Bailey. She's fantastic. And there's a couple others I watch here and there, but those, those are my top three. And yeah, he recommended Versa Grips. Uh, Dr. Mike recommended Versa Grips, and I think Jeff Nippert's also recommended these. I've seen Dana and Lynn Bailey using them. But they're kind of like lifting straps, but you 
they don't take all the effort out of it. Where lifting straps just kind of take all the work out of the grip completely, totally out of the equation. And you don't use grip at all. This, you use a little bit of your grip still. So you're not, so you're still able to build some grip strength with what you're doing. I have terrible grip strength. Um, not so much, it's, it's improved a lot, but it's more because I just hand disabled. I have uh, hand deformities. I don't have joints in the majority of my fingers and very small. I have trouble gripping things, period. Like I just I have a hard time holding on anything. So lifting straps and implements like this have been a game changer for me to be able to do heavy lifting motions and not have the bar slip out of my hand or strain my forearm tendons and stuff and like and be able to actually do upper body pull day stuff that I wouldn't be able to really do before because I couldn't physically hold something. Uh, anyway, my hand, my grip strength has improved though with through this year of training. It's a lot better than it was where I can do stuff without straps. And I try to do the majority of pull day, like what I can without the straps and then bring them in when my grip starts to really fatigue. That way I'm kind of building the grip strength as well. Don't always do it, but I try to. Uh, anyway, Versa Grips. I have tested these a couple of times. I'm, I just got these like a couple of weeks ago really, so I haven't had much time to experiment with them. But they go on like this. And your hand sits right here. It is made for right and left hand. And it kind of sits a little bit low on your hand itself. You don't do them super tight. And there you go. And the bar, if you're doing a pull movement, is going to fit in here. And you use it like this. And that'll help you just hold on to something. And it gives a little just more stability to a pull movement. And I like to use them for like RDLs and deadlift type motions a lot because that's where I'm lifting the heaviest and my grip really is a limiting factor. Uh, you can also use these for push motions or movements. You can have the barbell or whatever sitting on this part and you can use it for pushing and it can protect your carpal tunnel and keep you from getting or developing carpal tunnel rather. It protects all those little bones and joints and tendons in there. So yeah, these are the classics. They make a pro version and I believe a smaller, more delicate version of these. But these are just the pro ones. I, they are a little bit of an adjustment because they're a bit, uh, I need to like break them in. I feel like they do have a, like a smushy part here. And I haven't quite got the hang of doing it with one hand, getting the thing and grabbing it. Whereas uh, with the lifting straps, I kind of, I finally gotten used to doing that. And the lifting straps took me a little while to get used to. So it's just gonna be a little bit of adjustment getting used to these. But so far, I'm thinking I like them. And you can pick your color. I picked yellow, so that's cute. So you're gonna go into the gym bag. Hi huh, puppy. Yeah. Versa grips. Yeah, you standing on all my stuff. You standing on all my stuff. Do you not have a toy in here? You wanna find a toy? Where's the toy? Why don't you go find something to play with? Where's your toys? I bet there's something in the bedroom. Bedroom? Can you go find it? Go find it. Go find a toy. She's got toys everywhere. All right, so now I have my, my mini deodorant that's gonna go in a little zipper pocket here. I have a mini toothpaste that can go in that same zip. <laughs> More tagamet because, you know, you never know. Sometimes lifting can bring out a bit of a heartburn occasionally. We've got a face wipe just in case. And of course, band-aids and some glasses wipes in case I get my glasses dirty or whatever. 
scrunchie and hair clip. And there we go. That's what lives in my gym bag. Nothing too exciting. Nothing elaborate. I don't have, I don't bring protein with me and creatine and pre-workout. I don't fool with pre-workout for one thing because I just drink coffee. I don't need pre-workout. Um, I really don't need pre-workout in my life. And I take my creatine in the morning with my coffee and I make a protein shake when I get home or have it for breakfast also. I realize it's been almost a year of training. I think about four months away from a full year. And today is upper body day. We're gonna be doing all things upper body. I'm gonna be doing some bench press, shoulder overhead press. I'm now doing that with barbell and not on a machine or dumbbells. I have switched this mesocycle to using the Smith machine for it. Because I can do that by myself, for one thing, because it has a lot of safety implements. And I don't know, it feels it feels better to me than doing dumbbells. I felt I could I was scared I was gonna drop the dumbbells with my hands. I can hold barbells better. And yeah, so we got that tonight. So bench press, shoulder press, um, lateral raises, lat pull, and rows. I think that's I think that's my my upper body day. I have it mostly memorized. I just track my weights that I use, my reps and stuff. The first time I bench pressed on the Smith machine, uh, probably about seven months ago, I could do the bar, and that was pushing it. Uh, I remember my husband put five pound weights on it, and I couldn't do it. Last time I bench pressed, I had, I believe 15 on each side. So that's, that's a big jump for me. But I'd been doing chest workouts on um, a machine and had gotten up to like 70 pounds on the machine, but it translates different and the bar weighs so much and it's just different force of gravity and positioning. So it's good to change up your machine every so often like uh you know stick with it for like a six week mesocycle or something i do about six to eight week mesocycles of how i train and i'll do a little two week deload in between going into a new meso so we're starting actually a new meso today because i i haven't actually chosen a time to do a deload i just get forced into doing a deload this last one was because of teeth issues. I either, I've gotten sick, I sprung my foot, always something messes me up by peak week. The, that week where you're doing your heaviest and hardest, I never can complete that week. And it's very annoying. So we're starting a new mezzo this time and we're gonna kick it off with upper body today. And then we'll have lower body the next time. I have been able to leg press my body weight, which is also really cool. Now I didn't, haven't been out of the gym like super long, so this uh, first day back is not going to be the hardest thing in the world to get used to, because uh, it wasn't a super long like crazy deload like when I sprung my foot. That was like almost like starting from the beginning it felt like. So I should be able to just kind of pick up a little bit below where I left off, which is fine. And yeah, we'll see how well it goes. I'll let you know tonight or tomorrow. Oh, did you find a comfy spot? Did you find a comfy? Oh, it's a sweet girl. Oh my, she has her hand resting, her head resting in my hand. Goodness gracious, you are so precious today. She's been so cuddly and sweet and funny. Yeah, you've been a funny girl today, huh? You've been paying. So for the rest of the afternoon, though, I'm going to be doing some computer work. I'm going to, I think I've already actually typed up my workout. I just need to copy paste it over to a new mezzo. And yeah, I know you're supposed to like really plot that stuff out for like a whole year. I, I can't, I can't plan that far in advance. I'm just not that, not that good at, well, no, I'm good at planning. I just, I don't like committing to things I'm just it gives me anxiety to do it to like plan that far out 
Uh, anyway, what else is on the agenda is I will probably have my glycoma test coming up. Uh, we have somebody coming to look at doing concrete work because my car uh, driveway is collapsing. So that's real fun. And there's also a really suspicious crack in the road in front of the house. <sighs> yeah, this would be the second time the driveway is being repaired because of washouts. It's been repaired once, um, which actually was kind of a happy accident because it turned out it, it was starting to have a lot of washout and uh, AT&T actually drilled into our sewage line because they did not call before they dug and had to rip up our driveway, replace a portion of it, but now it's washed out again and the part that they patched in, a separate strip, is coming away from the actual rest of the driveway and shifting. So it's cracked like this and it's going like that a little bit. It's not horrible looking yet, but it's scary and I'm afraid it's gonna collapse. So I've been looking at like uh, options online of what could be done. And apparently there's some foam stuff they can put under there. They'll raise it and they can smooth it out and it'll kind of reinforce the driveway. We're on a pretty steep hill, so it happens. And apparently most of our neighbor, a good portion of our neighbors have had to redo their driveways because wonderful contractors, great, great, lovely contractors have uh, not cared and cash grab. And home insurance sucks. And they don't cover anything to do with the driveways. So I'm about had it with my insurance company. I've been fussing about them already. I'm still mad at them. And now this. I swear, I'm so frustrated with home things at the moment. And I swear, it's always like, it's never just like one thing that's going to go wrong in your house. It's going to be like three or four things in one go. Like last year, it was our air conditioner and then our water heater and then something else oh garbage disposal oh then you're broke and now it's driveway and roof so what next the whole house is going to collapse in a sinkhole i feel like there's a sinkhole in this house well it'll be on the roof so maybe insurance will cover that i guarantee there's probably a freaking sinkhole clause in there where they're like oh no we don't cover sinkholes though how much you want to bet that's in there? Insurance be doing you dirty. What? Well, I guess with the roof, I'm just going to wait for another hurricane to rip the rest of it up, and then we can maybe get it replaced. Maybe we'll get another Laura and do some more damage to it. <sighs> yes, I'm being very facetious and grumpy. Yes, corporations and stuff just really don't care about you. They just don't. Anyway, that's... That's what's going on this week. Uh, things are feeling pretty good in the mouth region. I'm about to have an apple and peanut butter for my lunch. And then around 4.30, I'm going to have a pre-workout meal of oatmeal. But I'm going to eat the apple now, import footage. I got to do some editing today. So, yeah, that's, that is my day. You want to say hello one more time? You want to tell the people? Yeah, you want to tell them how cute you are? I'm just a baby. I want you a baby. She'll probably come sit in my lap while I'm doing my computer work. She likes to keep me company, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You really do, huh? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Oh. Oh. You lick the gloss. Was it spicy? Was it spicy? Why is it spicy? Was it? Mm -hmm. Is that weird? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think of that? Is your tongue burning? <laughs> A little bit? A little bit? You need some water? <laughs> Goose? Yeah, and puppy's gotta go for a checkup too. Oof. Easy girl. 
She's ready for her afternoon cuddles. If you can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So should we eat? She loves if you just sit there and like talk to her. Like baby talk to her. She'll just look you dead in the eye. Just like, yes. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm. Hmm. So sweet. Are you enjoying sitting here because you're getting some sunshine? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, huh? She loves sitting in the sun and just baking. She likes to just bake in the sun. Get a little tan. Hmm. Get a little tan. Yeah. I'm just a baby. <sighs> anyway, see you guys in a little bit. Huh. Yeah, so I'm assuming in a little bit. Some will be our bait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that sweetheart. <laughs> like you're cute. Hop up. Let's hop up. Yeah, we're hopping up. You have to tell her to hop up and pat her on the butt for her to get up. It's so funny. The little routines and things you develop <laughs> with dogs that have to be done in just certain ways. All right, happy afternoon. It is Friday afternoon. I'm over my fussiness and my ranting. I've been in a little bit of a dump, down in the dumps. But we're over it today. We got, we put some makeup on, filmed some reels. Well, I filmed a bunch of reels yesterday, but whatever. Hello, <laughs> happy Happy Friday. <laughs> We've got smoothie and a skull mug. Some protein shake. Yeah, skull mug. Because I'm fancy today. You want to come say hello? Where you at? Where you at, puppy? You want to come say hi? Uh, no. <laughs> Pumpkin says hello. She's... <laughs> okay, that's enough. She's sitting behind me munching on a treat. And uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me... But yeah, it is a beautiful day today. It is nice, it is warm out, and I've got nothing to do. <laughs> no, that's not true. I got, actually got a lot of computer work to do, as usual. But I also got a bunch of stuff in PR that I wanted to show you. And some of this like total surprise, did not know it was coming kind of thing. It's like, oh, hi. Um, but yeah, I got some new skincare and some hair care that I'm very excited about. I told you, I think, I don't remember if it was in this earlier clip in this vlog or last vlog, but I talked about getting a little PR package from Pros and that came in. Very excited. And I got something from Beauty Stat, uh, Wish Trend, which is a K Beauty brand. Super excited about all this new skincare and hair care. And yeah, tomorrow Sephora should be here. Should be. They, they're, they're messing with me with that shipping. They are saying, oh, it'll be here today. Nope, be here tomorrow. They're playing games. As Claire says, they cutting up. They are. But anyways, from Wish Trend, from Wish Trend, we have this here. This is the Vitamin A, Vitamin A Amazing Bacuchul Night Cream. Big fan of Bacuchul. If that's in skincare, I'm like, give it here. That and the retinols, give them here. So we got a nice little night cream from them. This is Night use only, it says, which I'm getting low on my nighttime, just retinol cream. So this is perfect timing. Uh, apply to clean skin evening. Adequate amount of the cream step. And yeah, everything's in Korean on here, just about. So <laughs> I have to get Lila to translate. Very cute packaging though. I really, I like the color. That's cute. It's cute. Are the what does it say? You are the standard. Okay. Looks like a nice, cute little airless pump situation, and it was sealed. That's good. I just want to see what the texture is like, and we'll try it out tonight and see how it goes. Ooh, it's the it's the same color as the, the top. Neat. Oh, that feels nice. Feels hydrating. 
creamy. It's kind of yellow, like yellow cast. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. No fragrance. It just smells like a skincare. Yeah, it feels very hydrating and, ooh, yeah. Very slippy. It feels nice. I think I'm going to like that. Mmm, okay. And then from Beauty Stat, I got this little cute box here. Came like this. And it says here, be your own chemist. This is Beauty Stat celebrates National Vitamin C Day all month long. So they sent me a vitamin C thing. Um, we take Doc, we take Ron Robinson, Rob, Robinson's Mastery of Chemistry and Ingredient Authority and Beauty to unlock the potential gold standard ingredients to architect your skin's health. Architect your skin's health. For the better. Okay. So this is a uh, vitamin C, which is towards the unstable ingredient. Nearly everything on the market is a derivative, a dilution, or a less than optimal percentage. But after five years of research and dogged determination, Ron Robinson created a new technology that could, for the first time ever, formulate l acid, vitamin C, in its purest form at 20%. It's optimal percentage for delivery system and delivery system to <laughs> impervious to oxidization. Cool. So you're getting to do a little science experiment here with some litmus strips which are in here. Quit. They look like this. And you're gonna dip them in the refiner in one step to see what it looks. And then you'll dip it into the water with the refiner and you can see the pH level change and how it's gonna react to your skin basically. So that's pretty cute. Uh, they sent me a little beaker right here to do the experiment in. And we've got the Universal Skin Refiner, all skin types, 20% vitamin C l sorbic acid, right here. And uh, let's see, this is Smooth Over Skin AM PM. I thought this was going to be where you had to mix it yourself, situation like the like drunk elephant, but no, this is just actually a little fun experiment. Cute, that's really cute. So we'll get to like see the differences with this in the water and how it reacts. That's fun. I guess the packaging of this is supposed to keep the l sorbic acid from going bad on you. That's why I don't mess with vitamin C very often because it goes bad on me so quickly that it's a waste of money. But if this can keep it potent for the amount of time for me to use this up, that will be awesome. <laughs> I always end up having to throw away my vitamin C before it's used up because it goes smelly, turns orange, and goes bad. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see what this looks like. Squirt a little out. So it kind of medium we're in. Oh, it's a cream. Not a watery serum. Come on. Well. A little bit out here. Pump doesn't seem to want to work very well, but it is just a, a cream. Ooh, it feels nice. Uh, ooh, it feels gritty. Okay, so it's a cream mixed with like the powder. Feels gritty. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. We'll try this out and see how it goes. That has an interesting texture. Those powdery. So yeah, okay. Very interesting. It has like a powdery, almost dry oil feel to it. Hmm. It sounds cool, but this is supposed to be, I guess, airtight and to keep it from going bad on you. Let's see what else we got in here. Bright and tight and firm, it says. Great, great skin starts with the right chemistry. This is a science experiment from the Leaders in Beauty Chemistry. Please refer to instructions on the back of the insert card. Don't forget to show us your litmus. 
So I guess we can do this as a little reel or something too, and I'm gonna put this in a vlog. Um, and you can see how it reacts, I guess, to uh, your skin versus nothing on it, and how it, this is formulated to work with the pH of your skin to be more effective, is what I'm guessing that is meaning. But yeah, cool, it's a cute little card. So we'll be playing with that. And we'll do a little litmus test maybe tomorrow and see how that goes. And next we got this cute box from Pros here. We'll stick her on it. And this is what it looks like inside. How very cute. And we got a card. Really pretty card, like all this really pretty stationery. <laughs> Look how pretty it says pros down there and then it's got my name this is for Anna how cute developed in Paris bottled in New York so this has welcome to truly personalized hair care we're so glad to part of the pros community thankfully designed in Paris oh sorry thoughtfully designed in Paris and freshly bottled in Brooklyn your pros is made to order for you and only you. Every bottle is formulated with naturally powerful, scientifically proven ingredients, ingredients, each one precisely selected for your unique hair needs, for truly custom hair care and results that only get better with time. Yeah, so this was actually a really fun process. The questionnaire that you do is very in-depth, like super in-depth, like it triangulate, like it, like they source your location, the water type you have, where you live like you put your address in it is super depth let you know exactly like what type of water you have your climate all the things the pollution level in your area and helps formulate products to work with where you live your environment and your hair you answer a ton of questions about your hair as well like i've never done a hair survey so in depth and it was really cool and just such a lovely process so yeah, it's got the list of everything that they sent me with the ingredients that I picked. Um, so I picked a conditioner, a curl cream, and a hair gel from them. And I picked the fragrance and everything. They had a ton of fragrances to choose from that sounded, it was hard to pick because they all sounded so nice. So we got my conditioner, which was bottled on April 12th, 2024. It is April 19th. Wow. That that got sent out fast um, and it's best by July 12th okay I'll probably get it used up by then the conditioner um, and it says best by July 12th on all of these uh, so yeah that's really cool so I got Anna's conditioner Anna's curl cream Anna's styling gel and it's got all the ingredients written out um, let's have a look at these products you can buy pumps for these things on the website I didn't bother because I don't mind not having a pump so here's the conditioner this is a custom conditioner for Anna it contains anti brassness and curl enhancing I can't remember what fragrance I chose I don't know if it's written on here but look how cute these bottles are very cute you're getting 250 mils I picked like a, a super floral fragrance because that's what I like you can see it's got a light purple tint to it. Oh, that smells like heaven. Mm. Yeah, very fresh floral, kind of sweet. I like it, I like it. So I'm pretty excited about testing this out. We'll test this tomorrow, because tomorrow will be hair wash day and also leg day. Probably didn't plan that out very well, but whatever. Uh, maybe I should wash my hair Sunday. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to test it out, test this out in this vlog. So, how pretty. I love the aesthetic of this brand. Like this apothecary, very high-end feel. There's nothing super cutesy. Really nice aesthetic. All right, now we get the curl cream. This is Anna's custom, this is a custom curl cream for Anna. Touchable waves, weightless definition. It sounds right up my alley. Super cute packaging again. Same beautiful fragrance. Love it. Oh, I'm excited. Let me see what the texture feels like. 
Oh, it feels nice and light and thin. Not super heavy, but yeah, it feels like a good texture. Like it's gonna do what I need it to do. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, they did send me a pump. Ha, huh, thank you. Thank you. And these are reusable for your next order. So you keep your pump. Cool. All right. Thank you, pros. I didn't even think about the pump. Yeah, yay, there's pumps. They were just hidden. <laughs> cool, so I guess they send you that on your first order and then you can buy more if you need, but you're supposed to keep those to reuse. Sweet, thank you. This was so nicely packaged. I like the kind of natural feel everything has. So here's the curl, uh, here's the gel. This is the custom styling gel for Anna. Strong, touchable, hold, bouncy waves. It looks, ooh. Mm, smells just as good. It's nice jelly texture. Ha <laughs> ha, yay. Oh yeah, that's got a good texture. It doesn't feel super, super thick. I'm gonna like this. Mm, I hope it, uh, oh, I, I'm looking forward to this wash day to try these out. Cause it sounds awesome. And that has a nice texture. It's not sticky. It's not a sticky gel. I like that. Cool. Yay. Thank you so much, pros and beauty stat. I'm going to have fun with that little experiment and waist trend. We're going to do some nice skincare in this vlog, I think, too. We're going to have a little, maybe a little glow up maintenance day Sunday. Because tomorrow is probably going to be leg day. Depends on what day the gym's going to fall. It might be tomorrow. It might be Sunday. We'll see which day the glow up happens or a little self-care moment happens. I feel like I, I earned a little self-care. I've had a very stressful week. I've had a resurgence of tooth pain because I was grinding my sleep during, I was grinding my teeth in my sleep. Woke up to like stabbing pain. Just cause things are still a little inflamed in there. I'm just having some trouble with the healing process. Uh, feels better. Apparently it can take a while for the nerves and everything to really settle down. So I woke myself up in pretty bad pain and had to have a little cry because I think I was just frustrated and kind of had enough. Between that, uh, roof, driveway, just a lot going on, you know, eye stuff. Here's Pumpkin to come say hello. So just been a little meh and stressed out so I think some self-care is needed this <laughs> Sunday and some a, a nice rough leg day a nice good hard leg day <laughs> take some of my aggression out on that oh I need a puppy oh my puppy and yeah that's what we are up to today though is just unboxing some stuff I'm very excited and oh I put to sleep okay so where I put that um vitamin C it doesn't feel weird now it feels like it totally absorbed so okay anyway we got some fun stuff to play with and then tomorrow the blushing or was it blushing romance Natasha did not no the new Danessa Myrick's groundwork palette comes the blush shades which I predicted so, I mean I had to buy it because I mean come on I was like you know what they need is a blushy tone version of this and then two months later she comes out with it I feel like I, I, I always have heard about it. <laughs> and after speaking to her, she is such a lovely human. Oh my God. I'm going to gush over Janessa Myricks constantly because she is such a nice person. Her and Lisa Eldridge, the nicest people. Like they will sit there, they will chat with you. And it's so cool. Like I'm nobody on Instagram or on here or Facebook, but I've chatted with them. How cool is that? Like they'll just talk to people. You don't have to be an influencer or anything like that. Huh. Hi, puppy. No, you can't lick the skincare off my arm. I know that's what you want to do, but you can't. No, you can't. Kisses. We're going to sit here and talk again. Yeah. We're going to sit here and chit chat. But you got a watery eye.
Don't bark at my face. Don't bark right in my face. That's very loud. That's very loud. Oh, she's gonna do the closed mouth barks. So. What? No. <laughs> I wasn't doing it with you. If you do a fake bark, it gets her going. Because she, she thinks, oh, we're barking. It's it's a together thing. <laughs> See this? The way she's sitting here. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're just sitting here looking at each other. Are we having a conversation? Yeah. She loves to be talked to. Loves attention. Huh, did you get some cheese? Yeah, you did. You've had some cheese this morning. Yeah, I cooked uh, nachos for dinner last night. Cooked nachos. I made some nachos for dinner last night. And I wasn't thinking. And put some chopped up jalapenos on there. Girl, that was a mistake. A mistake. And my gums were on fire. <laughs> I had to go rinse my mouth out and then brush my teeth and oh boy they were burning huh pumpkin <laughs> yes they were they were burning and then I had heartburn two things give me heartburn take out pizza like Domino's or Papa John's that kind of pizza and jalapenos that's my the two things that still get me now like before I had my gallbladder out everything gave me heartburn but now it's just those two things, so I know to avoid them. I know not to eat jalapenos, especially with this situation. And I thought, oh, but that'd be so good on nachos, just a little jalapenos. I didn't even put that many. And I also put tapatilla sauce on there, like a doof. Knowing, knowing I'm supposed to avoid acidity and spicy things right now. The dentist told me, do not eat spicy stuff or anything acidic or like chocolate because it's gonna burn your gums until they're fully healed and that will take a while it can take like up to six months for the nerve endings to settle down but just in case because i'm panicky i looked up how to how they would do a root canal with this <laughs> in case it doesn't go away even though the pain today is like minimal like i barely feel anything over there now but uh, day before yesterday i mean i was I don't know if I was really crying from pain so much as just, I'm done. You know, you ever have those moments where you're just like, it's too much. And I've been hurting on and off for like a month and a half, it feel like. And between like TMJ flaring up, just dental procedures, and then sh crappy eye appointment experience. <laughs> driveway partially collapsing, arguing with home insurance. It's like, it's just, it's just too much. And it's like, I, it was like midnight. I woke up and of course stress grind your teeth and got to take a leave because it was just not going away and just <sighs> had to have me a good hour long cry. And then I went back to sleep and I was out until about 8 that morning, but I didn't sleep good. I was thinking I was up for maybe two hours. It was probably two before I went back to sleep. But last night, I sacked out like at 8, 9 o'clock and slept until about 4.30 this morning. Got up with my husband. We went and got coffee. <laughs> and like he got his breakfast for work and stuff and uh, at the gas station. And they dropped me back off at home and I went back to bed. I put my coffee in the fridge and went back to bed. <laughs> I was like, you know, if I if I get up now, I'm going to be useless by this evening. I'm going to be totally useless in the evening in case I want to go to the gym. So I need to sleep in a little bit as in get up at like 8 o'clock. That's kind of, I've just really am at my best if I get up like at 8. That way I can be a little more productive later in the day. Even though I love getting up at 4. As soon as about five, six o'clock rolls around, I'm like done <laughs> for the day. So I, it's a better balance if I do sleep in just a little bit, I guess. You know, I'm 37 years old. I should have this figured out about my sleep schedule and what 
works best. Do I have it figured out? Absolutely not. And that's the thing. When you're younger, you think adults have it all figured out. Nah, girl. No. We're just making it up as we go. No one has it figured out. You just do what you think is the best thing at the time. So, there's... Everyone's just kind of flying by the seat of their pants. Anyway. Puppy! Puppy! She likes when we do that. It's like the the little prairie dog or groundhog, whichever it is. I think it's prairie dog. The guy comes and goes, Puppy! And he goes, Yee! I do that with her all the time. Puppy! I'm saying puppy. She answers to puppy and pumpkin and funyun, pupper. What are your other nicknames? Punk. Pumpernickel bread, pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice frappalulu. That's her full name. That's her government name. Is pumpkin spice frappalulu. Please don't tell everybody my. Don't dox me. Oh, you don't want to be doxed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, this little thing has been glued to me all day. Since we got up today, huh? You've been in my lap, you've been sitting right by me, we've been hanging out, doing some cuddling and some talking. I've been taking her outside a lot today because it feels so nice. And she loves when it's warm out and this it's sunny. She is the happiest she can be. Like she wants to go outside all the time, but if it's cold, she only wants to go out, do her business, come back in. She don't want to like hang out. But it's just been, it's so lovely today. She just like wants to hang out outside. And she'll play around on the carport a little bit. She'll go look at the grass. She barked at some bunnies this morning. So that was fun. I got to watch those. And she got to watch some birds. But usually she ends up just stretched across my lap outside. Oh, we ate some ants, didn't we? She likes to eat ants. They're, they're a little fun, spicy snack, aren't they? Yeah. And you never learn, do you? You get bit in your mouth every time and you just... But you just don't learn. She loves chasing crickets also. That's another favorite pastime. She chases them and she bops them on the head. Yeah, we don't mess with frogs too much anymore, do we? Since that frog chased you that time. <laughs> the frog won. Anyway. That was, that's all for a day. I should check in, show you this new stuff, chit chat for a minute, and I'm gonna take the baby outside, the puppy outside. Do you wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? I take that as a yes. Outside? Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah, she really wants to go outside. Go outside? You wanna go outside? Yeah. Okay, let's go outside. Good morning, guys. Hello. So, Blooming Romance came in. Yay! And clearly I've been playing with it. I just actually used only the peaches in this palette already. Okay, look, I've done created three looks with this palette, and it's only, I think today's Monday. So, Anyway, here's what she looks like. It's so pretty, and I love it. I like the way these palettes smell. People complain about the smell. I, I kind of like it. I don't know. But yeah, I, I've been digging into here pretty, pretty good already, and I love it. I love it. I, I just love Danessa Myricks. Who are we kidding? So she can do no wrong. This is what I did today. I did a monochromatic, monochromatic subtle lifted halo eye <laughs> with the peach shades in the palette. But oh, 
I'm enjoying playing with this one. It's a good one. It is a good one. If you like blushy tones, just, just, just get that palette and have fun. We're also doing a foundation wear test today. Again, because I keep messing them up and actually I found a better way to use the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. And so I'm like, no, I'm scrapping the old video and we're doing it with this new method that I figured out. And I think I can do a better review <laughs> because that's why I'm first impressions are always not the best to go by. And that's why I do product update videos because my opinions change sometimes and I might find a way to make a product work even better. And yeah, which is what I have with that. So I decided to do refilm that wear test with the new method because it made such a huge difference in how that foundation looks on my skin. So yeah, I've also used the Pros products. Uh, this is like day four hair. <laughs> so my waves and curls have pretty much kind of fell out, but look at, look at it. It's not frizzy. <laughs> I love this stuff and it still smells so good. My hair smells amazing still. Three days. Yeah, we're definitely three days in. My hair still smells awesome. These, oof, these are good. It's not sticky. It doesn't make my feel, hair feel heavy. My hair feels so light and nice. And this is, you know, uh, day three. So I still have some wave in here and it wants to kind of ringlet up, but it's wanting to do the big chunky ringlets that it does. Uh, it basically gets like a blowouty look to it on a good wash day. By this point, we just get to this paint, get to this place. And this is what I really like is when it just is like that. But yeah, I don't feel any product in my hair. It just feels like my hair. I love it. It's so nice. Oh, I've been struggling with my hair lately, like just not feeling great. And mm, this is, this is really good. Like I still got my, my one sausage curls that are trying to happen in here. If I do that, they'll definitely come back and I can revive them. But I decided to just go with this beachy look because I think it looks pretty. Uh, if I refreshed my hair, I could definitely got the tighter curls back. And day one, I did have some tighter curls, of course. And the way it usually goes, if you have wavy curly hair, like your first day, you're going to have your tightest curls. And sometimes if I refresh, they'll come back and be even tighter and better. But I decided just to let it be because I was really liking just the, the progress it was making or the... I was liking the way it was settling and just being. And it's just, I can't get over how clean and light my hair feels. Oh, like, it doesn't feel like there's any product in there at all. And the toning definitely worked as well. The anti-brass. My hair definitely looks a little bit more neutralized. So I am a huge fan. And the fragrance, I'm so happy to report, the fragrance lasts. Like, my hair still smells like that pretty fragrance I chose that I can't remember the name of <laughs> but I just I'm very I'm very tickled with the with the hair so uh, I think in the next vlog I'll go through the whole process of how I style using the pro stuff and I do need to film a reel with it but I am very happy with these results nice usually at this point most of the time my hair is just an absolute frizzball and I can't do nothing with it like it's usually just Time to wash it, and it's just not good. Not good. This is awesome. This is this is so nice. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what's going on around here. And I have incorporated that Bakuchul cream in at night, and it has done lovely so far. It feels really good, very hydrating, moisturizing. My skin feels quite smooth in the morning. I'm enjoying that cream so far the Wish Trend Bakuchul, and I started adding in the Beauty Stat Vitamin C. It it has such an odd texture, but it, it doesn't stay, like it works into the skin and it's fine. But at first it definitely feels like kind of powdery and gritty. It's very weird, but it's not off, like 
once you get it applied, it's fine. And I can go over it with my moisturizer and there's no issues. And it's, it's working pretty good so far. So I'm going to continue testing this and I'll keep you updated on that and the Wish Trend Bakuchul. But so far, so good. Very impressed with those pros products though. And of course, Blooming Romance is so much fun. So yeah. So yes, update for today. Uh, this week we do have somebody coming to look at the driveway. We've got the roofer coming back to chit chat about options with that. I have not heard from the I ophthalmologist yet, so I guess I should call them. And yeah, um, my hip's a little angry, so today should be leg day, but I'm gonna give it a break because I don't. I twisted my hip funny during the night, moved wrong a couple nights ago, and so it's it's a little sciatic nerve thing. And I'm going to skip leg day and go straight into upper body day. And I'm th me and Pumpkin are just hanging out. I'm going to do some computer work today, uh, have some lunch, and just see what we get into. I do need to do some cleaning and tidying up around the house, which is not the funnest thing when your hip hurts. <laughs> I got a little bit done in the kitchen yesterday, but I need to do a little more. And yeah, it's it's weird. Like I can't figure out the temperature. Like I put this cardigan on because I was cold, and now I'm hot, but then I'm cold again. It it's it's one of those days where the weather is just I can't find the right temperature in the house. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in a little while, and let's see what we get into on this beautiful Monday. Do you see you see that clip I put in before this? Of my bunnies. Okay, I have a ton of bunnies that hang around in the yard. And I put apple cores out for them. I eat an apple almost every day. Just because that's my favorite lunch. A lot of times it's an apple and peanut butter. And I cut up the cores and slice them up into pieces. And throw it in the yard for the bunnies and the birds to eat. And I actually finally caught a clip of my bunnies. Or one of my bunnies eating the apples and he was just tearing it up he was so happy and I got a visit from my favorite little neighborhood friend Garfield my big chungus of the neighborhood the chunker he come over and said hello and then pumpkin got some outside time it was a lovely little day yesterday of just playing with animals and I can't get over how soft my hair feels by the way oh my god it feels so soft it feels so healthy Wow. Wow. My hair hasn't felt this good in months. Like, it doesn't feel fried. Ooh. Uh, anyway, sorry, got a little distracted because I was petting myself. Petting my sausage curl that I like to sit here and pet. See, I get this one giant, like, sausage curl on this side where it just wants to all be like this in this big old, like, ringlet, and I have to, like, break it up. It just does it on that one side. This side doesn't do it as much. Like this side doesn't curl as well as this side. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I am uh, brain fried already. Yeah.